What's up everyone, how you doing? A Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to our Minecraft Medieval Harbour. I know guys it's been a while but we're finally back and I have a bunch of new tutorials all planned and ready to go. So before we get started with today's build I just want to go over a couple of new features on the channel. So first of all you guys have probably noticed we now have merchandise. So if you check out below any one of my videos you'll see we now have a bunch of hoodies, t-shirts and mugs. So be sure to check them out if you guys are interested. Okay the second thing I wanted to mention is the new channel memberships. So if you guys check out below any one of my videos you'll see there is now a join button just next to the subscribe button and what this does is it allows you to support the channel while gaining some bonus benefits yourself. The benefits include things like a new custom badge that will be reposted right next to your name inside any comments on my videos, live streams or my premieres. You'll also gain access to my world downloads, which will be private for members only. Okay, these are normally the builds that I do in my time lapse videos. You'll also gain early access to my public world downloads, and you'll be getting these about a month early. Both of these downloads will be announced in the community tab, but will be only visible by to channel members and to nobody else. Okay, so there'll be two types of downloads. You'll have one, the private members only downloads, and two, you'll have early access to the downloads that do go publicly as well. Now, the last and final benefit, guys, is you'll get a new custom rank if you join my Discord server. You'll be given the Diamond Nerd rank, um, and that's about it, guys. Anyway, that's enough with all of the new things on the channel. Let's get into this video and check out what we're going to be building today. So today, guys, we're going to be building this build. And this is the one we built in our survival world. And it's basically the warehouses across the bottom and then some little apartments at the top. We have access around the side here, which will take us up into the apartments. Um, but overall, I really like this build. I think it fits really nice into the area. I have made a slight change on this version of it because in the, in the survival world, this bit here gets covered. So I don't have any of the extra windows in the roof or the extra windows down the bottom here. Um, so we just made it look nice for the area here. But I think it fits in really nicely and it connects really nice to the house on the diagonal corner here. So we're going to go ahead and build it. Okay guys, here is the layout of the floor plan. Now as you can see, this one is a pretty big build, so you probably want to pause the video for a minute and take down all of the dimensions and the measurements. It's pretty simple and we will be going over everything else in the video. Okay, now before we move any further guys, I'm just going to roll a list of all of the items needed to build this one on screen now. So be sure to check that out, be sure to pause the video if you need to so that you can write the numbers down for everything. And with that being said, Let's get building. Okay guys, we're gonna start from the left hand front side here. So we're gonna start by placing a stone brick here. Leave a five block gap to the right and place one here. Now behind this, you wanna leave a 19 block gap and on the 20th block, place one here. Leave a five block gap to the left and place one here. Now if we come back down to the front here, we want to go over to the second block here, leave a two block gap behind and then one to the right and place one there. Now leave a three block gap to the right, place one here. We're going to go diagonally back to the right, place one here, leave a three block gap to the right. Diagonally back and to the right, place one here, leave a three block gap and place one here. Now we're going to go eight blocks forward, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, two, three to the side and place one there. Now, behind that one, you want to leave a five block gap and place one just there. Okay, now this is the base of the foundation for all of our doorways. So we're going to go ahead and raise these to five blocks. So four more on top. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and we're going to do that all the way around. Once you're done, head back over to the pillar that we start with on the very corner here and at the top here, we're gonna join a pillar across the top here. Then we're gonna head into this little gap here, join a pillar across these two, then a pillar across these two, and a pillar between these two. Round to the right here, we're gonna do the same at the top here and join these two together. And then over at the corner here at the back, we're gonna join these two together. 
Okay, once you're done, we're gonna head over to the pillow we started with again, this one just here. And just behind the back of it, we're gonna place an oak log all the way down and join up with the one at the very back just there. Then we're gonna come over to this one and we're gonna run a pillar all the way down this way. And again, join into the front. Now, over to the right hand side of the build here, behind this one on the corner, we're gonna place seven. Like that and then here we're going to place two and then over to this side we're going to bring them all the way down and join up with the log pillar that we just placed a minute ago there okay and here's a quick view so you can see how it looks now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our cobblestone and underneath these log pillars here, we're going to go ahead and just fill in a wall. Okay, so there's the log pillar. We just want to bring cobblestone all the way down to the ground and just fill it in as a wall. Okay, and we're going to do this only underneath our log pillars. Okay, once you're done, we're going to head over to this little corner here. The one where we skipped out that little bit of the corner there. And we're basically going to make a wall. So we're going to start from the corner, bring it all the way across like this. So we're bringing it over to the left hand side of the build and we're going to raise it so it's four blocks high so it's one below that pillar okay and we're just going to fill it all in once you've got that wall in place we're going to come around to these three little doorways here and what we're going to do is we'll start from the left hand side here um, right hand side if you're facing it from the front and you're going to leave four blocks across so come into where this pillar is we're going to make a wall coming down here Leave another four blocks over and then make another wall coming down here. Okay, and then you'll have four blocks here as well. So all of these will be four blocks wide. And then you just want to raise these to four blocks high as well. So three more on top like this and do that for both of the walls. Okay, now I'm going to get one more wall in place, which is going to be this one down the back here. So from the left hand side, we started, we're going to go down to the back there. Now, depending on where you're building this, you can actually leave this open and have an extra little storage unit. So for me, for instance, because we have a raised platform on the back here, I'm going to go ahead and fill this with cobblestone. But what you guys could do is replicate the doorway that we have on this side when we build it in a little while and replicate it to this side and then just put a divider inside here and it could have two storage units. OK, so it's entirely up to you how you guys want to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and fill it in as a wall because we don't have a doorway at the back here. Okay, now that we've got all of our walls in place, let's go ahead and get in the next floor level. So we're going to grab our spruce planks and at the same level where this wooden beam is here, we're going to just go ahead and fill in a floor. And we're going to do it through all of this side here and all of that side on there. Okay, just make sure it stays at this top level here. Okay, once the floor's all in place, just go down and make sure you light these up. I'm going to start by placing in a lantern just in the center here. And then I'm just going to bring it all the way down, just placing them every so often. Just to make sure we've got enough light in here so that no mob spawn. And you want to do that inside every little gap, making sure you place one in the little doorways like this. And then just lighten them up inside. Okay, once you're done, we're going to just get in a couple of extra logs here. So what we want to do is we want to break the corners where these logs join. So place one there and one there. We want to come over to this corner here, place one here, one on this corner, one on this corner, and then these two corners at the back. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do this in sections so that we're not repeating all of the work we're going to do. I'm going to build the wall up on the front of this one, and that's going to be repeated on the back wall and on the sidewall over here, okay, with exactly the same pattern. So what we're going to do first of all, is we're going to place a spruce stair, uh, stair upside down here, with a one block gap all the way across like so. Underneath the edge here, we're going to put in two upside down stairs. Then we're going to get our oak logs again. On top of this, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're also going to do six on here as well. From the very top, you're going to come down. So you've got one, two, and on the third one down, place an upside down stair. And then place two on top of it, uh, two logs on top like this. Get your spruce slab, place one, two, three. Then your stripped birch wood, just fill in four layers of it like this. 
Then get your spruce stairs, place one here and here, leaving a one block gap between these ones. And again, placing a slab in between like this. Then you're gonna get your stripped oak wood. And on the very top here, we're gonna place three rows of five like this. Then place three in the center and one on top. Okay. And again, we're gonna go ahead and do that on that side and on the back. Okay, once you're done, we're gonna do the same thing over here. So we're gonna make the wall up here. I'll do the one here and we're gonna repeat it onto these two as well, okay? So first of all, we're gonna place stairs upside down like this, one apart, and these are the sprue stairs again. Place an upside down stone brick stair here and here. We're then gonna go and raise these corners by four with the logs, so four logs here, four logs here. Get the slab, place it in the gaps here, and then we're gonna raise this by four. Once you get to the top, you wanna to put one more layer on with one in the center, okay? So five layers in total and then one at the top. Then we're gonna go ahead and do the next one. So we're gonna repeat what we just done there. We're gonna do it on this one and then on this one. Okay, once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this, okay? Now, we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the walls in place quickly. So before we do anything else, let's go ahead and we're gonna come around to the left-hand side here. We're gonna end up having a wall going all the way across this one wall from the front all the way to the back of the build, okay? Now, we're gonna do the same on this one here. So right on top of the log here, we're gonna run a wall all the way down to the back, like so. The back here is going to be slightly different because we're going to have some windows down this side here. So if we start from this log here, we're going to put a log on every other block going down. Like so. And again, just as quickly raise those to four blocks high. And in fact, I think this one will be six blocks high. Just like so. And then in the gaps, we're going to go ahead and fill it with the stripped birchwood for now we will be adding some windows in here later on but we'll go ahead and do that later on now over this side here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put three across here put one on that corner there for a fourth and then we're gonna just bring it all the way down joining up to here and that is all of the outer walls i believe ready to go we can raise those in just a minute but before we do that let's quickly work out the floor plan on the inside of the build so from the left hand corner if we come around over here to the right there's going to be a doorway just here so i'm going to quickly just fill that like this put two on top one there place one like that so the wood goes the same way so that we have a little two block gap here for a door now on the inside here we're going to place one here and one more so we're going to have a little three wide walkway coming down this way okay now it's up to you if you wanted to you could just run it all the way across from the corner here but i think if we just give it that little bit more room it just make a little bit more room inside the apartments here and then we're going to just join this all the way across like this now from this side here we're going to just come over to this wall here to this pillar so we're going to have four across there and we're just going to bring a wall all the way down again go over by four blocks which will bring you to this corner and bring it down again and again we're going to have a four block gap between all of these rooms as well now a door in the center would mean a two block door so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the door one over to the right so one block from the side so one block from the side there one block from the side there there we go and again let's quickly just put in our doorways which we want to be a two block high like this And then on this one here, we're gonna break one there in the center and do the same thing and get in a doorway. Okay, now, first of all, guys, we're gonna raise all of these stripped birch wood until it is four blocks high. So three more on top, and then we'll, we will adjust the rest of the walls accordingly. So first of all, just go around and raise all of these by three more. So one, two, three, bringing it level with this corner. Okay, once you're done, we're gonna start by raising these single planks here by two more blocks, okay? So these single birch wood here, just raise these all so they're level with the tops of the oak logs. 
Once you've done that, we're going to raise these three in here by two more blocks. This big main wall on the left hand side, okay, so right over to the left hand of the build, we're going to raise this one wall all across here by two. Once you're done, we're gonna also raise this second wall. So that's the far left. We're gonna bring this second wall here up by two. Okay, and finally, we're gonna come over to this corner here and raise these four blocks across here by two as well. Now, the rest of these walls inside here are gonna be raised, but we'll do that once we get the roof in place so we can see how high to raise them. Now, before we do anything else, let's head over to the left-hand side here and start breaking out some windows. So right on the center of the top here, I'm gonna break a two high window here, right in the middle. Then one at each side of the center, I'm gonna break a two high window there. In the middle here, a two high window, a two high window, and a two high window. On the side down here, I'm gonna leave two blocks at the side, place one here, leave a two block gap, and then break that one there. Over this side here, we're going to repeat breaking these two here and this one here, just like we did on that one there. And we're going to do the same over here. So right there, and then one here, one here. Now for this one, guys, we're going to break a few windows down the side here. So we're going to skip, if we go count the birch wood only, we're going to skip the first one. Then from the bottom, go up one and break one, two, three, like this. Then we're going to skip one, go over one, break three, break three, and break three. Okay, so we're skipping one of the birch panels each time, okay? And we're breaking it right between the wood. Now, while we're here, if we quickly grab ourselves some glass panes, so you can use any glass panes you want here, guys. I'm going to use the white stained glass panes, and I'm also going to grab myself some uh, birch stairs, okay? Now the birch stairs we're going to place at the bottom of each of these windows like this. So break the bottom one out and replace it with a stair. And then we're also going to place an upside down one in the gap at the top. Make sure you break the block because you still want your three high windows. Now once you've done that, let's go ahead and start filling in the windows. So we're going to put the glass panes in all across the back here. Side here and basically everywhere that we have cut out a hole for a window. Okay, now over at the right hand side here, we're gonna go ahead and get our stairway in. So what we're gonna do here is where the pillar is here, we're gonna start by placing a stair here. This is the stone brick stair. And we're gonna just step it up one back each time until we get to the log pillar here. Then underneath these, we're gonna go ahead and place an upside down stair like this. Now what I'm gonna do in the corner here is I'm gonna place a solid stone brick there, one there and one there. And then get your, your stairs again, place an upside down one here, and then curve it around the corner like so. Place an upside down one there, and then one facing inwards like that. Now we're gonna get our spruce trap doors and we're gonna place one here and here. Then we're gonna place one on top of that one. Then one against each of the stairs going up here. And then we want to place a trapdoor on top of those ones. You will need to crouch to place. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and open them. And we have a nice little walkway up here. At the very top here, we're going to place two trapdoors here and open them. Place a temporary block here and here, and then just place a couple of trapdoors here and here, then break those blocks. And there's our walkway going up to the top. We're just gonna go onto the inside and then place a door like so. There we go. Now while we're up here, let's go ahead on the other doors in here and we're gonna place a door on each little apartment. Just like that. Okay, get your trap doors. And first of all, we're gonna place a trap door here and a trap door here. And then we're going to place a slab underneath this window only. If we place one here, we won't be able to get to the door. So just underneath that window. 
Over here where this window is, we're going to go down to where the stairs are and place three slabs like this. Three dirt blocks on top. And then we're going to surround it with the oak trapdoor. Now you can use any trapdoor that you want, but I think the oak just stands out nicely here. Okay. On the top window up here, we're going to go ahead and place a slab. And then a trapdoor there and there. And a trapdoor here and here, here and here. Just to make some little shutters. Okay. Now, the plant pot we've done here and this at the window here, we're going to do that on the back side here and the front over the other side. Okay. Now, we're going to do something similar on these little windows here. We're going to place a single slab underneath the windows on the bottom part like this. Place a dirt block on top of it. Surround it with trap doors on the sides, like so. And then where the window is, we're going to place two spruce trap doors like this for a little shutter. And we're going to do that for all of these. Just like so. Okay, that is looking pretty good. Now, we're going to start getting in the roof. But before we actually do that, let's quickly just place one last little detail. And that is in front of all these pillars by the door here. We're going to go ahead and place in some solid blocks like this. Okay. And then we're going to put a stair on top of it as well. And this just gives them a bit more support and just makes it look a little bit stronger. And of course, we're going to do that over here as well. And if your ground is the same height at the back, go ahead and do it on your back wall as well. Okay, right, now that's in place, let's start working on the main roof at the back here, this big one, okay? So what we're gonna do, first of all, is at this side here, we'll place a acacia stair there and then overhang by one. And then we're gonna do the same thing all the way up until we get to the top point there. Place an upside down stair here. And then we're going to do the same thing down this side here, making sure that we overhang by one block. And then underneath, we're going to place some upside down stairs. Like this. Now, on the very bottom one, let's place one more upside down stair and then place two more stairs coming out like this. And we're going to do the same on this one here. So place one there and then two more stairs. On the very top, place an up a stair with an upside down stair coming out like so. Now, the idea here is going to be literally just running all of these stairs all the way down to the back and then repeating the pattern at the back. Now, you will have this little corner of roof to blend in with. So all you're going to literally do is you just blend it in. So just go over to it like this. OK, I'm going to break that corner one there. Bring this one over here and that should join straight into the corner there. The next one will come up and join straight into here. Now, what I'm going to do to make this a little bit neater, because I want this roof to blend all the way in. So what we do is the roof that is already here, I'm going to extend those by two, then the next one by three, okay, for us to join into. Now, of course, guys, if you're not building this next to a roof like this, you will just run your roof straight all the way down to the back, okay? So for me, I'm going to be joining into the roof, so I'm going to just run my stairs from this side here into the roof. Now, as you can see, guys, this does look a bit funny here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure it matches. So we go in one. As you can see, the dark oak stair is one there, one there. This should actually be a dark oak stair. Then that one is and that one is. So there we go. It blends in nicely like so. OK, now we're going to go around to the back here. We're going to repeat exactly what we've done there. We said we'll do it down this side. And then obviously we're going to run the stairs from there all the way to that side as well. OK. So it's a pretty repetitive pattern, guys, and I'm sure you can follow along and do exactly the same thing yourselves. OK, guys, when you're done, you should have something like this. Now, just be careful. One thing I didn't mention was the bottom two layers here that sit inside the edge of the roof here is make sure you don't actually put those layers in just yet because we're going to have to put the other roof in here and it is going to get in the way if we try to do so. So once you get into the bit of the house here, just leave that top edge there clear all the way across okay so now that we've got this on the top guys let's go ahead and get our planks and we're going to just fill the gap in between like this
Then once you're done, go ahead and place the slabs on top of that, all the way down to the front. Okay, now just to neaten things up, if you guys are building this in the same place against this little house here, be sure to go ahead and fill your little roof in over here and just connect it up like that, just to make sure that it is finished nicely. Okay, that's looking good. Right, now we're gonna work on this roof here and we're gonna pretty much do exactly the same as we've done there, okay? So we'll start again on this side and we're gonna go with our acacia stairs, bring them all the way up and then just bring them out by one. Okay, let's place our, up, our upside down stair in the center and then upside down stairs underneath, including one on the very bottom here and extending this out by one extra piece. Let's do the same on this side. Okay, and then we're gonna just put our stair in the center and an upside down stair at the front. And then we're literally gonna just run this down and join it into the roof there, okay? So this is pretty straightforward, really. We're just gonna run stairs all the way across here. Now at the back here, what we're gonna do, because we've got these windows here, and we're gonna be putting in some, uh, some windows into the roof a little bit later, we need to just go ahead and put some upside down stairs underneath this edge here, okay? So we're gonna run this all the way across. Okay, so we should have a, a row of upside down stairs on the inside, and then we can put our normal stairs on the outside. Okay, now we're just gonna join these three on this side into that roof there. So we're literally just gonna run them down like so. And then once we get to the roof here, join it in there and then just break the one behind like that, just so it breaks off the connection for now. Okay, once you've got that bit of the roof in, guys, and we come around to this side here, you can see we've got some broken over here. Let's just go ahead and break these two and these three for now, um, and that one, that one just there for now as well. Um, and I think that is all we need to actually remove for now. So now what we're gonna do is these three here, Okay, so from the top there, one, two, three, we're gonna bring these ones over to the back there, and then we're also gonna place a full block in the center there, and then slabs across the top, and connect it all the way over to there, okay? So let me just quickly get that in. Right, okay, once that is all in place, guys, let's start working on the little roofs here. And the little roofs here are gonna be pretty much the same thing, except we won't have the extra overhang here. We're just gonna put a stair there, there, then there, and then again, overhang by one. Upside down stair at the top. Put a stair there and a stair there. Now, what we're gonna do is underneath here, we're gonna break that one there and actually make that an upside down stair, like that, because it has a better look with the way it connects. And then, of course, our stair, upside, uh, uh, normal stair and upside down stair, like so upside down stairs on this side here and we're going to put an upside down stair just there as well and if we can we can just about get into here and i'll tell you what we just actually we'll put a full block in there okay just to keep it all covered up right that's looking good now it does get a little bit tricky here so what we do is we'll get the fronts on first okay so we're going to break that one in the corner there again and we're going to repeat the same thing here so let's go ahead and put in the stairs like so We'll break that little corner one there for now. Upside down one here. Two normal ones like so. We'll put in a stair at the top, upside down one there, and then just get in two upside down stairs here, and then two upside down stairs here. Right, let's do it on this corner, except this time we can keep the stair on the bottom here. Okay, once that's in place, let's go ahead and behind the top here, we can break that one out if you want and replace it in the center like this with a acacia plank. Just bring a straight row all the way back until we are one in front of the stair here, okay? Let's do the same for this one. And the same for this one. Over in this corner here, let's just go ahead and place another log in there like so. Now this bit here is actually a bit more easier than it looks. So if we start from looking at the front here, on the left-hand side gap here, we're literally gonna put stairs all the way around like this. 
Once you get to that corner, place one facing that way, and then the rest of them can just be pretty much run back this way like so. Joining up to that one there. For this top one here, we're literally gonna just run the stairs all the way across the back here. Once we get to this one here, we're gonna turn, join up to the, the um, planks here and then bring them all the way back and join into there. Now for this one here, it's probably easier to go this side first, bring your stairs down here. It's a little bit tight, a little bit tricky, so just be sure to get them in all the way. At the corner here, place one face in that way and then run the rest of them across the top like this. That's looking good. And then pretty much the same thing here. So we're gonna just bring the stairs down, turn at the corner, connect to here and then bring it all the way down. And then finally, we're gonna get in our stairs across here. Face one this way and then the rest can just come all the way down. Okay, last bit of the roof here, we're going to just do the same, well, not even the same, we're just going to literally bring the stairs all the way across and join up to there. Now, just quickly, just break that one for a moment, and what we're going to do is we're going to place a temporary one of these in there and just bring it up like so, and then just break that one there again after. And then we'll put our stair there, stairs across the top here, and then stairs across this edge here. Now we can just extend these ones across now as well and join up there. So let's do that. We'll break that one in the corner there. Let's put one of those. And then we'll grab our stairs again and bring it all the way across and join up to there. And then underneath here, let's just put an upside down stair in there. Okay, and then the last little bit is to just put your slab across the top like this and connect to this side. And again, all the way across and join it up here and down here as well. Okay, it's starting to look good. Now, let's go inside the build and actually put in the rest of the walls so that they are attached to the ceiling. So let's go up our stairs and inside here. Okay, once we come inside, guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start raising the tops of these walls. So what we're gonna do, We'll start from this one here. Let's go ahead and raise this one here. Let's connect it all the way up like that. And then we're just gonna basically come all the way across like this. Joining into this wall. And we're gonna raise it up again. And just keep going until you touch the ceiling, okay? So until you reach the roof. So just keep going. At the corner here, place in two, and then do the same all the way across here. Over here guys, again, just go ahead and fill those in like so. Then inside each room, if we come inside here, we can have a look, because there's probably gonna be some gaps here. So we go ahead, just fill those gaps in like so. Okay, so you should have something that looks a bit like that. Can we break that one? We can, we can break that one there. We'll leave the other one there for now as it is, because I think, I oh know, we can break that second one as well. And let's make sure that one faces upwards. Okay, right. Now, let's, um, let's go into the next room and do the same thing. So we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, and one. And then, of course, we're gonna go into this room here. And, oh, that one's already all in place, that's all fine. And then in here should be fine as well. Yep, that looks good. Now, what we're gonna do, just to neaten things up a little bit, guys, is where these windows here are on the inside, I think we're gonna do something like this, just basically covering all the wall like that, leaving the window open like so. In the gap here, let's go ahead and fill this little gap here with some acacia planks or any planks you want, and then fill that bit there as well. At the back here, again, we're gonna do the same thing with the wall, let's go ahead and fill that. Then get your stairs and you just want to run upside down stairs all the way across the back here. You can do it with spruce or any color you want if you want to color the roof different rather than the acacia. It's entirely up to you. If you do use a different color wood, you will want to put a slab in the center as well just to cover up that bit of acacia wood in the center. Um, but for me, I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to put some planks in there. 
so we can finish this all up. There we go, that's looking pretty good. Now in these rooms here guys, where your windows are you got, are gonna have something like this. So I would suggest covering it with something, try and use it as a little unit. You could use bookshelves or crafting tables or something, but try and stick something in there like that just to cover up those stone bricks because if you change it out for the uh, spruce wood, you're gonna see it on the outside and it won't look right. So just be sure to go ahead and just cover them up with something like some bookshelves or some crafting tables or something along those lines. Now coming into each of these rooms guys, it's entirely up to you what you want to do. I will probably go ahead and bring these little sections here down so the roof is all level like that. And then get your, um, get your stairs again and at each side of the room just run some upside down stairs like this. And then you can do it down this side as well. Just like that to neaten off the ceiling in here. And go ahead and do something similar in the other rooms. And that should neaten everything up on the inside here. So go ahead and decorate it up as you please. In the hallway here, I would go ahead and go ahead, put some upside down stairs across here. Or you could make some wooden beams going across. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and do the stairs. There we go. Something like that, okay? And I think that looks pretty good. Keep an eye on how you place your wood in here, guys, because you want it all to blend down in a straight line so that it doesn't look out of place. Okay, right, back to the outside of the build, guys. So now we're going to go ahead and start putting in some doorways. Now, for the one of this that I built on the docks, I did create a raised ground. So what I've done is I had a bunch of blocks like this across the front here and then some slabs in front. Now, because we're here on the uh, the docks and the placement here, it doesn't look like it really fits here. So it's entirely up to you if you want to go ahead and fill this with a flooring and then put slabs here. And then all you would do is the door would go one further back. So the door would actually be placed on this block. And then you would place trap doors on the inside uh, for the rest. But I'm not going to do that because we're not, we're, you know, it's not going to really fit, I don't think, for this area. So what I'm going to do here is first of all let's go ahead and just remove these blocks here like so right okay so there's several ways we can do the doors so for now for this one let me just quickly do this we're gonna go in where the where the um the stone bricks are here you want to go back one block and you want the door to be placed one further back like this okay so you're basically on the second cobblestone block back on the inside here you can go ahead and place some trapdoors like this. Crouch, place some on top. Do the same at the ceiling above. You can place trapdoors across and then crouch and place some on top of them. Open them all up. And you'll have something like this. So from the outside, you'll have something like this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put in a stair at each side like this. And then I think getting a slab, if we can get some stone brick slabs. I think stone brick stabs in the gaps at the top here look good. Yeah, and I think that will do the job, guys. I think that works. If you wanted to make it look a little bit more narrower, you could always do something like this. Make sure you keep them closed. You know, you could change it up as you please. Um, you could do something like that if you wanted to. Um, but I think... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to actually leave that one like that. I actually quite like that. Now, round the side here, for the smaller ones, we're going to just go to here, I think. So this is the one straight behind the pillar. And then just go ahead and put in your trap doors like this. And then open them all up. There we go. There we go, and from the outside we have that. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and change those. 
excellent i'm gonna do exactly the same there for these two doors here and for the one on the end here i'm gonna do something different so let me go ahead and get those in okay and for the last door over here we're gonna do something slightly different so let's go ahead and just put in our stone brick our stone blocks into the floor here now for this one i'm gonna create a little bit of a doorway so what i'll do is we're gonna place two trap doors just here and two down here something like that we're gonna do the same on this side here Now, because we've got a three block gap here, I'm gonna make a two block, a two wide door here, which is gonna be one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Like so. And in fact, you know what we can do? Break those two, we can actually make it inside here. Come down. Yeah, so it actually looks like a proper door. And then we could go ahead and just do the same thing here, making them three high. Yeah, like that, a nice little door. I actually like that one, that actually looks really cool. Um, and if you wanna make the doors thicker, you could always double them up. So they look like they're a bit thicker doors. Let's go ahead and place one in here as well. There we go. Excellent. Now, of course, because it's free, you could actually go ahead and do something like this instead, actually, because the doors would look like they wouldn't look close. So that would make them look like they would close because there would be two blocks for that side and one for that side, making the three in total. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna actually change my door around the side over here to match that one over there because I think it actually looks nicer. All right, guys, now that is it pretty much complete. The last couple of bits of details would be adding some flowers into your flower pots here, something like this. You can also go ahead and place little flower pots around here and there with some flowers in it. Down the side here, go ahead and mix up some different flowers as well, something like that. You can even use big ferns if you want. It depends how you want the area to look, but I think I'm going to stick with some of the smaller flowers here. Something like so. And then just one last little bit of detail that I like to do is I like to make little flower baskets. So what I'll do is I'll run some slabs across here and maybe one there and one there just to make a little curved area over in the corner here get yourself some dirt or cool stir something like that and just go ahead and fill the corner here with that once you've got that in place go ahead and get yourself some leaves and just make some little triangular shapes like this maybe like something like that make it look like the leaves are kind of uh, sort of pulling themselves out a little bit sort of climbing up the building a little bit I think that looks good yeah I think that looks pretty good actually maybe like that yeah something like that I think that looks pretty good and then just go ahead and you could just bung in a fern in the corner there we could put in a lilac some alliums here and then we put maybe one of them, one of them, one of them. There we go. A nice little flower area. Okay, let's first of all do the windows at the top here. So right where we have our windows already underneath, we're going to put the window directly above, okay? So what we do is where the window is, come up to the first edge of the roof, break the stair above that one, okay? And then we're going to go, um, we're going to go one back and break the three like this, okay? Break that one in the center and these two at the sides. At the side here, place two planks like this. Place a stair face in that way and a stair face in that way. Break that block in the center. Place a full block in there with an upside down stair on it. Upside down stair on there with an, uh, a normal stair with an upside down stair sticking outwards. Slab behind it. And then we're going to just go ahead and put in the glass window just there. And if you wanted to, you could even get in a flower pot with a little flower on it if you wanted to. 
and you'll do exactly the same where this window is, this window is, and this window is, okay? So let's go ahead and get those in. Okay, once you've got it all in place, we're gonna head over to the bottom down here, and we're gonna put in some oak trapdoors, but you can use any trapdoors, it doesn't matter, and place them on the top part of this log here, okay? But leave a gap of two or three now and again, okay? So leave some gaps here and there, just sort of like this, okay? And then all you're gonna do is place some of your um, bushes going across. This is the acacia leaves, but you guys can use any ones you want. Just make it look like they go up and down, like so, all the way across. And then just go ahead and just make a couple that kind of uh, stick down a little bit. So something like that maybe, maybe one there. Um, we could do one in the middle here and then break that one there. Uh, this one here could even dangle down a little bit further. Let's place one and two. And I think maybe we'll just go one and two. Oops. One and two, like so. I think that looks pretty good. And then just go in a couple of flower pots. Not too many. Something like that. I think will be pretty cool. And then we'll just grab the allium for this and we're going to just throw that inside the flower pots. You can use any flowers you want, it doesn't matter. Okay, right. Now, around this side here, if you wanted to add some detail around here, you can. What I like to, to, to do is go ahead and on every other block, go ahead and put in the pillars of the oak logs like this. There we go, and then maybe add in just a couple of windows, maybe on this one here. So let's put a stair there and a stair there. Break four blocks here, four blocks here, a stair at the top, and then some windows in between. Yeah, something like that. And I think that looks pretty good. Now the only last thing you need to do guys is to get yourself some stone and some stone bricks and then just go ahead and just randomize the walls with some textures like so just to create a little bit of a nicer looking texture so that it doesn't all look the same. Something kind of like this, it hasn't got to be perfect. It just adds a bit of texture and makes the area just look a little bit more worn down and uh, overall I think it actually makes it look nicer. Alright guys, and that just about does it for this one. I think that this build really fits nicely into the docks here. I really love the shape of it and the layout. And I love the way if you come down to the road here, the way it kind of really feels like a little kind of roadway down here. It really starts to feel like a proper village now. Um, and I love the way it sort of feels. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the look of this one guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial too. Now guys, if you did enjoy it and you want to see more tutorials, please remember to smash that like button because at the moment my survival series and my time-lapse builds seem to get more likes. So I kind of, I'm switching over towards those a little bit more because I'm getting more likes so I'm assuming it's what people want to see more. So if you guys want to see more tutorials, please remember to hit that like button guys because it really helps me out and it just lets me know what you guys want to see more of. Anyway, guys, with that being said, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up just there. So, as always, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next one.